Good morning guys, happy Monday. So today is January the 23rd and today is National Handwriting Day, yay! So I am feeling pretty good this morning. I had some extra time so I went ahead and curled my hair. Let's be real guys, it's probably not going to stay that way. I have a hair tie on my wrist just in case I need to go ahead and throw my hair up. But we're gonna try it and see if it actually lasts all day long. All right, as soon as I get to school, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have planned for National Handwriting Day. So let's go. All right guys, so I just walked into my classroom and set down my bags. I had to get those down first before I could go ahead and film for you guys. I plan on doing some handwriting centers with my kids today during writing today instead of opinion writing just because it is a special day and handwriting is very important. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to teach. So I am going to do that and I will show you what I have to make copies of this morning. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm actually going to introduce National Handwriting Day using this page that I found online and I will put the link to this below if you want to save this for next year but it just kind of talks about what National Handwriting Day is, kind of talks about the word penmanship and then it actually asks the students to do a little writing activity. It talks about the quote of the day and then down here how many ways can you sign your name, write it small, write it large, create fancy swirls. So it just kind of has different activities to introduce National Handwriting Day. Now this is going to be at a center. It is to help students practice putting spaces in between their words. So if you can see, there are actually these lines that go down and it will help the students create spaces in between their words. So they will actually write words like I space like space football. Obviously, their sentences, I hope, will be a little bit more detailed than that, but that was just kind of to show you guys an example of what that would look like on paper. And then down here, I have my sentence strips. Now, these I used to use in kindergarten all the time. If you teach in the primary grades, I'm sure you are very familiar with sentence strips. Today, I'm going to actually have the students write a sentence about their family. I'm going to have them say, my family is as great as the blank. They may have to glue two of these together if their sentence is too long, but then I'm going to actually let them use some scrap construction paper and create a picture of whatever they say their family is as great as. I remember actually doing this for my mom in kindergarten, and I said my mom is as great as the world, and I created a globe out of construction paper and put it on my sentence strip as well. So it turned out really cute. My teacher had actually laminated them, and we still have mine at my mom's house to this day. I have these handwriting practice books. Sometimes the students will actually work on these during our guided reading group time if we have some extra time, or they will practice it as their work on writing piece for Daily Five. But this is going to be one of our centers today, and this is just my copy right here. And basically, it kind of goes back to the basics. A lot of my kids do need to practice handwriting just to make their writing a little bit more legible. So I am going to go ahead and put this out as a center today. The students are also able to practice their cursive handwriting. We don't actually teach cursive in third grade anymore, but they are able to practice. They really do enjoy it. So they will have the opportunity to practice some of their cursive today as well. Up here, I have my writing process posters. Now these I actually created for my kindergarten students. Basically, it is just a long chart. All of these anchor charts are to demonstrate what the writing process is, and I think there's actually one folded underneath. We have to brainstorm before we can draft. So it has brainstorm, draft, edit, revise, illustrate, and then actually there's one more. It is published. So even though we've already started doing a lot of these things in the classroom, I just want to kind of give the kids a visual as to what the writing process should look like. And I found this cute little pencil clip art online and I just made him super, super big in a Word document and printed him off. This is going to go on our bulletin board that's outside of my classroom. And their sentence strips are actually going to be what's gonna go on there. The title, I believe, I think I'm gonna put, we are on the right. W-R-I-T-E, track. Last but not least, I'm going to hand out these handwriting awards. It says terrific achievement, and then I'll pre-rate the students' names for developing your amazing handwriting skills. And then I will go ahead and sign and date. So once we are finished celebrating National Handwriting Day, I will hand these out to the students so that they can take home and show their parents that they have been practicing their penmanship. Okay, so I do need to go ahead and make copies, but before that, I'm going to quickly write up our quote of the day, just so the kids know that it is National Handwriting Day as soon as they walk into the classroom. So 
I just dropped my kids off at IMS. Basically, it is media. They get to check out library books, and they get to practice typing on the computers. So I copied these handwriting awards onto yellow paper. It's definitely not as cute as I was hoping it would turn out, but I just didn't have time to print them all off in color, so this will have to do for this year. I will make sure to copy them in color for next year, but these are going to be what I'm going to work on now while the kids are in the computer lab. I always, always, always keep a jug of water underneath my desk and just refill my water bottle. So this is a water bottle they have today. It's actually one that I used to work out with, but it's not my normal water bottle. I usually keep the same water bottle throughout the week and then wash it on the weekends. I hope that's not too gross, but it doesn't really get that dirty. As long as I'm not sick, there's really not that many germs. I don't know. I don't know. And it's just me that's drinking out of it. So I usually keep it for a week, but I am so thirsty. I need to go ahead and get me some water right now. Ah, so much better. So the boys and girls did such a great job on their handwriting today. They had a lot of fun doing the sentence strips, and today they actually were writing about their families. I gave them the writing prompt, my family is as great as blank, and they had to finish the sentence and make a picture to go along with it. Let me show you guys some of the work that some of my students did. And now it's my favorite part of the day. Time to eat lunch. Yum. All right, guys, what a day. We had so much fun today. Wow. Today was a lot of fun. So we have our writing process over there on the door that we talked about today. And I ended up keeping my hair down all day. Crazy. That never happens. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching our National Handwriting Day activities. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.